That is a revist of how masses cheered when the Union Jack Bridge flag was lowered and the Uganda flag was raised, a clear symbol of Uganda getting her independence. Today, as the nation marks 58 years since 1962, we have a chat with Mr. Kasaja Charles, a resident of Chifumbira in Kamocha, on the celebrations then versus the present times. Nearby, food was there, everything was there. We, have, we, had, we had right of speaking, we had the treatment. Mr. Kasaja says living in penis is only possible when leaders prioritize true peace for all people. You can sleep when you are hungry. What, what does it mean? You are sleeping, but you are hungry. You mean we are there just to sleep, but you, you are leading us because we are, we are very happy because we are sleeping. Our children, our children are, are, are not working. Eh? You, you pay school for your kid after graduation, no job. People are doing the works which, which are not their qualifications. Hmm? In, if, in, in areas, if 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 you if you take your kid to, to the school to be a doctor, to be a doctor, eh? okay. If you are an engineer, do engineer. But nowadays, how many engineers we have in Uganda? Highlighting medical as one of the most important aspects of society, Kasaja believes that true independence is true investment in hospitals and other medical facilities around the country. What is very important in this world is treatment. Medical is very important. If you have no medical, no treatment. But nowadays, if you get, let me tell you. You can, as you as you can see nowadays, for example, if you get cancer, you're going to die. If you get uh, other colonical diseases, you're going to die. But in those days, treatment was there. Hmm? Hmm? For example, now you see Mulago Hospital. It's no longer it's no longer oh, oh, for, for the people. We don't oh, if you go to Mulago, no treatment. They send send you to Chirudu. Now Mulago was built for who? Was Mulago was built for you and me? But today, Mulag is not for us. Can you say you have independent when Mulag is not yours? On how Ugandans can live to the true ideals of independence, Kasaja had a call to the president of Uganda, Yore Kaguta Museveni. Because those people who are with him, they are, they are okay. And they don't, they, they don't tell, they don't tell, they don't tell, the, they don't tell the president our problems. For them, they, they, they just fool their, their stomach. They used to say that for God and my country, this is for God and my stomach, or for God and my family. Someone, someone grabs money for government, a lot of money, they say we are forgiven him. Every 9th October, Ugandans celebrate their Independence Day. They remind themselves of changing leadership from the colonialists to the local people, that is the Ugandans. But the question still lingers on whether this independence still means something to them or it actually doesn't mean something to them. To that discussion, an interview, a chat with Mr. Kasaja Charles brings you an insight of how Ugandans look at this particular aspect of Independence Day. Is it meaningful to them? Do they really feel their independence? Or there is something that needs to be changed? On this Independence Day, there are many questions to answer. Stephen Mayombwe for Speak Uganda Record TV, Kampala.